Top story tonight, a deadly discovery in Homestead. A body was found inside a car outside a Walmart. Imagine as shoppers were rushing in and out, detectives say the body was right there stuffed in a trunk. And three people were taken into custody in connection with this case. Our Janine Stan with us live now in Miami, where both that body and car were taken tonight. Janine. Calvin Lurie, what a shocking and sad story. That car with the body inside taken in its entirety right here to the medical examiner's office. Witnesses telling us they couldn't believe what they saw. It's horrible. It's a horrible way to die. An awful discovery. A body found in the trunk of this white Honda in a busy Walmart parking lot in Homestead. We walked over here and the trunk was open. You could smell it. The, the body is in the trunk. All I seen is the car and the and the uh, before the police came in the presence in the and I didn't even know the body was in the back. But here's where the story takes a turn. Detectives say the body might belong to a man missing from the keys. His brother seen here by this black car reporting a missing two days ago. Thursday morning when he sees a white car matching the description of his brother's Honda police say he starts following it. And he starts following it. And he's pretty convinced that this vehicle is the vehicle that belongs to his brother. So he calls 911. As he enters Miami-Dade County, he is still following that car on the phone with dispatchers. He follows that car right here to this Walmart and Homestead. And that's when detectives made a gruesome discovery. So they searched the vehicle and what they found was a covered up deceased body in the trunk of this vehicle. Three people in the car, including this man and this woman with pink hair, taken into custody. Took the, guy, the people in custody, everybody's gone. It was a lady and two gentlemen, and they took, they had a dog with them, but the dog was taken away by uh, animal service. That Honda covered with the body still inside, taken to the medical examiner's office. And this is where we are tonight. The medical examiner still has to identify that body. Detectives, as we understand, are still right now working around the clock. In fact, we do understand that they're still interviewing those three people that they have in for questioning. No doubt the investigation continues. We're in Miami. I'm Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News.